Well, hey everybody, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. We're so excited. Uh, we are super thrilled to be uh, having our Fwafa trivia virtually. Uh, and so we're, we're excited that you all are joining us at home and that everyone is joining us here. Say hey, everybody. Everybody wave. <laughs> we're super excited. We have the red team and we have the blue team today. Uh, and so you all at home will be competing against them to see if you can better uh, better your your score, if your score is better than theirs. So let me give you uh, an overview of how this will work. Uh, we will have three rounds of five questions each. And so um, you will you will answer the your questions at home. So go ahead and get a piece of paper uh, and number it. Uh, one through 15, we'll have 15 questions, um, three rounds each, and you will track your score at home. So uh, you'll answer the questions, and then when we give the answers, you'll put an X or a check next to it if, uh, if, if you got it right or wrong. And then at the end, you'll total up your score, and we will uh, we'll total up our scores here, and we'll see uh, if you have beaten the teams uh, and go ahead and post your score in the comments below. I think that, that'd be super fun. So uh, we look forward to, to seeing how you do. Okay, is everybody ready uh, to, to get going? Yep. Okay, if, if you're not ready at home, go ahead and pause the video and, uh, and hit resume when, you're, when you've gotten your paper and you're ready to go. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, you're back? All right, great. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, round number one. So remember, don't shout out the answers. We're gonna go through five five questions and then we'll go through the answers uh, uh, after that. All right, so here we go. Round number one. Question number one. What year did FWAFA open? Nineteen forty-six is not the right answer. <laughs> Although that was the year that the Texas Boys Choir first started, which that means that this year marks our seventy-fifth anniversary of the Texas Boys Choir. However, that is not a question, nor is that the correct answer to question number one, which is what year did Fwafa? The Fort Worth Academy of Fine Arts open. All right, everybody got an answer written down. Let's move on to question a number dose, which is which teacher has a classroom pet and what is it? This is a two part question. Which teacher has a classroom pet and what is it? I can assure you this classroom pet is living. It is not a pet rock. So that is not the correct answer. And if other teachers have a pet rock, that is not the correct answer to this question. All right. Give everybody a couple more seconds to think through that. I know you're racking your brain. Moving on to question number three. How long is the school day at FWAFA? The precise number of hours and possibly minutes. <laughs> Requires math. <laughs> yes. <laughs> math is a good thing. It is required of all of our students. How long is the school day at FWAFA? I think that's a trick question, though, because of third grade. Mm, good point. <laughs> For the majority of students, <laughs> how long is the school day at FWAFA? I'm assuming it includes lunch, right? The whole day. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> I had that. <laughs> All right, moving on to question number four in round one. What 
is Fluffa's graduation rate? What is the percentage of students <laughs> that graduate from Fluffa? I'll give you a hint. It's not 0%. <laughs> It is a number greater than 0%, as evidenced by our graduation that we just had just a few days ago. And let's take the opportunity to congratulate all of our seniors and a job well done. And congratulations to you and best of luck in your next chapter of your adventure. All right, that was question number four. Question number five, in what grade do uh, does a student transition to a block schedule? In what grade does a student transition to a block schedule? Again, it is not kindergarten. But that is likely because kindergarten is not offered at FWAFA. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody got an answer down? Well, that wraps up round number one. Let's go ahead and go through the answers and make sure if you're playing at home or you're playing on here to put an X by the ones that you don't have uh, that you get wrong and a check mark next to the ones that you get right. We'll add them up at the end. Actually, we'll add them up at the end of each round. So here we go. All right. So what year did FWAFA open? The answer is 2001. Woo! 2001. January. January of 2001. Almost, <laughs> almost 2000, but no, January 2001, which uh, means that halfway through this year, in addition to uh, TCAA celebrating 75 years of um, arts instruction in Fort Worth, the the uh, FWAFA campus will be celebrating 20 years. FWAFA will be celebrating 20 years of uh, of academic excellence. So that's that's awesome. That's that a is, long time. <laughs> it is a long time. <laughs> But, but super, super, super exciting. All right, so 2001 was the correct answer. Put a check next to it if you got it right, and X if you got it wrong. Question number two. This is a two-parter. Uh, which teacher has a classroom pet, and what is it? The answer is Miss Wiggins, who has a, a beautiful snake named Puppy. So... If you got Miss Wiggins and you got an awesome little snake, then you got both parts of that answer correct. Well done. Why I now have a snake in the house because my daughter met Poppy in third grade and <laughs> for three years, and now we have a snake. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> the question is: Is your snake in a nice enclosure, or is it let or to run free throughout your home? Okay, oh fair enough. <laughs> All yeah. right brings it around the office for us to pet. Yeah. I mean, really, it's not a classroom pet. It's just the school pet. I'm <laughs> yeah. so not a petter of a snake. <laughs> Off of the mascot, Poppy. Yeah. I love it. All right. Question number three. How long is the school day at FWAFA? Answer is seven hours and 45 minutes. Seven hours and 45 minutes. All right. Question number four. What is FWAFA's graduation rate? I told you that the number was higher than 0%. I'll be honest, it's higher than 1%. It is 100%. Is... Fwafa's graduation rate. Congratulations again to all of our seniors that have graduated this year and every year in the past 20. 
And lastly, here we had one graduate. Hey, still counts, hundred percent. Right, <laughs> one graduate. Hard to get her on the Johnny Carson show. <laughs> That's right. All right, last one. In what grade do students transition to a block schedule? Answer is survey says seventh grade. Seventh grade is the correct answer. Okay, that ends round number one. Total points that you could get in round number one is six points. So go ahead and show me on the screen with your numbers here. How many points did you get? That's six, that's six, that's six. Oh, wait, how many is that? I don't know. Six, oh, six. There it is. <laughs> five points, five points there. All right, wonderful. Well, we are gonna move on to round number dose. Round number two. Are we ready to go? Is everybody ready? Go ahead, number one through five, because we are about ready to kick this off with our first question of round number two, which is, which foreign languages are taught at FWAFA? Which foreign languages are taught at FWAFA? Chemistry is not a foreign language, despite what many people think. W wouldn't you agree, Dr. Pullman? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dr. Pullman, you're offering a new class this fall, right? AP Chemistry. That's going to be exciting. Wow. Yeah. What are some of the things that, uh, that, that the students are going to learn in that? Well, chemistry. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> This chemical plus this chemical equals another chemical? Yeah. So it's basically math. Got it. It is. They're called equations. There it is. All right. So which foreign languages are taught at FWAFA? Okay, that was question number one. Five more seconds to put down an answer. Five, four, three, two, one. That was not five seconds, but we're moving on anyway. All right, number two. How many ISDs, that's independent school districts, does FWAFA accept students from? So as a public charter school, <laughs> students from other districts uh, can come to FWAFA. So the question is, how many districts does FWAFA accept students from? Again, I will tell you. You're really quick. And no, no, no cheating. No going to our website, which it might be listed there. I don't know. I don't. I don't know where uh, Mr. Violet went. Hopefully, it's not Googling <laughs> or counting. <laughs> He's looking at memes. That's right. All right, my camera's moves. Oh, uh, that is all right. Um, again, I will give you a hint. It is more than one. Uh, that that is for sure. How many ISDs, independent school districts, does FWAFA accept students from? All right, put down a number, five, four, three, two, one. Moving on to round number two, question three. Which student organization volunteers to assist with tutoring and academic support during ninth period? Again, which, uh, which student organization volunteers to assist with tutoring and academic support during ninth period. What, which student organization volunteers to assist with tutoring and academic support during ninth period? All right, question number four. And this is a this is one you have to count less to. How many dance studios are at FWAFA inside the building? And while we know that every classroom is a dance studio at one point in time, with You're talking all about of just designated dance studios. designated dance studios. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
but are we talking about for this past school year or this coming school year? Let's talk about this past school year. I'm just double checking. <laughs> all right, all right. How many dance studios this past year were inside the Fuafa building? The answer is, you'll have to wait until we get to the answer part to find out. So, moving on to the last one in question number five. What Fuafa faculty member is also a Fuafa alum? What Fuafa faculty member is also a Fuafa alum? <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go ahead and get to the answers for round number two. Question number one, this was a two-parter. So if you got both of these, you'll get two points because which foreign languages are taught at FWAFA? The answer is a French and Spanish. Francais and Espanol. We used to teach Latin. That would have been cool. And well, then and then somebody found out that nobody speaks it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it went the way of the Senate and is now in ruins in Rome, apparently. Nope. French and Spanish. French and Spanish are the two foreign languages that are taught at FWAFA. So if you got both those, you'll get two points. Well done. Okay. Now, here is probably the hardest question of round two. How many ISDs does FWAFA accept students from? The answer is 34. 34. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you got 34, you do not get 34 points. You only get one point. Uh, and so, yes, 34 is the correct answer. That's a lot. I know. I said 30. I said 32. I couldn't remember exact. Mm. Yeah. You know, you were so close that I'm going to give you zero points. <laughs> <laughs> You're so generous. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate that. I think it's so neat that we're able to to accept students from so many, so many different areas around Fort Worth and around the Met Metroplex. It's so cool. All right. Moving on to question number three. Which student organization volunteers to assist with tutoring and academic support during ninth period? The answer is National Honor Society. Yay. Super congratulations to all those kids that are involved in, in NHS. Uh, they are awesome. All right, question number four. How many dance studios are in the building? In the, uh, let's go with the past year. The answer was three designated dance studios. All right, and question number five, what FWAFA faculty member is also a FWAFA alum? That would be Mr. Hill. Mr. Hill, man, myth, and legend himself. All right, so go ahead and add up your totals. Again, the most that you can get in round two was six points uh, if you got French and Spanish. So go ahead and add up your point totals and go ahead and show me on the screen how many you got. Five, 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 four. Got it. Okay. Here we go. We are on to round number three, which means it can mean none other than the round to end them all. Are we ready to go? Here we are, round number three, the final round for all the marbles, for the whole kit and caboodle, for the whole enchilada. Are you, are you guys ready? Yes. Yep. Are you guys ready at home? If so, give me a thumbs up. I can't actually see you. Give me a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Here we are. 
Round three. Number one, which teacher has taught at Fuafa the longest? Which teacher has taught at Fuafa the longest? Rack your brain. Who's been here the longest? All right, five more seconds. I guess we've got to move to the next question. Oh, you see what I did there? Cause, I, Cause I'm a cow, get it? That's, it's move, it's like a move joke, get it? Cause cows go moo, that's the joke. Nice. All right, question number two. What was the name of Fuafa's first building? What was the name of Fuafa's first building? Now, this might be a trick question. Yes, because it's not the Texas Boys Choir's first building. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was the name of Fwafa's first building? The answer is, we'll have to wait. All right. Question number three. Which Fwafa teacher is also a published author? Oh, goodness. Just giving away answers. <laughs> Which Fwafa teacher is also a published <coughs> author. All right, question number four. Here we go, I'm gonna give you, this is gonna be a three part answer, okay? So what was Fwafa's first musical? What year was it held? And what was the name of the theater that it was performed in? Three parts, three parts. What was the name? What was the year? And what was the name of the theater that it was performed in? All right, all right, all right. Last question of round number three, the last round, the final countdown, the whole, okay, I'll stop. Round three, question five. Which art show is a collaborative effort between third graders and high school students? What is the name of the art show that is a collaborative effort between third graders and high school students. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, let's get to the answers. Round three, question one. What teacher has taught at Fwafa the longest, and that is Mrs. Jones. Yay! Oh, what's that? Wrong, wrong. I was debating between her and Shayna. Mrs. Jones. Actually, uh, Ryan Wiggins is here longer than Shayna. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Darla, was Ryan, Wiggins. and then Shayna. Oh, close. I had Ryan down. That's who I had. <laughs> yeah. I think All right. Darla started one year before Ryan. Mm -hmm. Question number two. What was the name of Fwafa's first building? All right, this was a trick question. I told you this was a trick question. It was the Great Hall. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the Great Hall. So I guess y'all, so y'all started over there before you moved over into mm -hmm. the current building, right? Yeah, we were down in the basement of the, all the classes were down in the basement. Well, I guess uh, now our current campus is a bit of an upgrade from being in the basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was what I worked on. Is hooray! Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you for doing that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we we all we all get to enjoy the fruits of y'all's labor from 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 back then. Years ago. All right. Question number. It, it was either that or this. Uh, equestrian center out in the middle of Bembrook, which is now a church. Well, I think we made the right choice. We, we love our current location. I know. What, it's perfect. What, what year was that? <laughs> um, I was doing the math on that. I think we moved into, it was in July, because I fully remember the month, <laughs> the heat. But um, 2002, 2003, I can't remember. We were debating that the other day. I'm pretty sure it was 2002. So where was the Great Hall at? It's over along the, um, the it's like behind DSW, and there's a, a tall um, piece of land, whatever you call that back there. And um, it's, you like can go from DF, DSW around to the post office in this little back, and it's along that, it's now like a children's little tykes center oh. it caught on fire a couple of years ago oh, kind of scary. Mm. i'd hate for it to burn now okay um <clears throat> question number three in round three which Fwafa teacher is also a published author dr pullman did you have a thought on that one <laughs> <It's kind of> <laughs> unfair <laughs> guess so are you talking about me that's right dr pullman <laughs> okay is our uh our, our our very own published author and you have uh do you have a new book out right now uh one is going to come out this summer oh a new great. children's picture book so. great. that's terrific yeah well we'll all look forward to, to to reading that all right question number four this was a three-parter what was fafa's first musical in what year was it performed and where what was the name of the theater the answer is How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, which was performed in 2002 Rose at Marine. the Rose Marine Theater. Really? Dang. One out of three. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> one out of three. When we're done, I could run get the poster because it's in my uh, oh. other room. Oh. <laughs> yeah, do it. Cool. That would be cool to see. I'll, I'll go see if I, it's I'm underneath the bed. I think it's easy to reach. All right. And so the last question here, the last one was, which art show is a collaborative effort between third graders and high school students? And the answer to that is the Monster Art Show. All right. Well, how'd y'all do? <laughs> All right, go ahead and add up your totals. Again, the highest that you can get is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for this one. So go ahead and add it up. All right, everybody at home, make sure to add up all three rounds. We want to get your total. Now for all of us here, what we're going to do is everybody add up your total as well. And Monica's going to pull out her calculator here. And we're going to add up our totals. We're going to average them out for each of the three teams. So let's start with the red team. So let's go with Mr. Byerlip. What was your total score? 13. 13. Okay. Miss Clay? 16. 16. Miss Smith? I only missed one. Okay, my math is bad. Uh oh. <laughs> so, how many total were there? One. I missed three, and I got 16. So that'd be 18 total. Okay. All right. So, Monica, what's the average there? 15.6. 15.6. Okay, blue team. Miss Creedon, what'd you get? 14. That's 14. Okay, and Miss Jennings? 13. 13. And Mr. Pol uh, Dr. Pullman? 13. 13. Okay, the average score there is? 
13.3. So it's 13.3. What was the other one? 16? No, it was 15. I don't, I don't remember. 15.6. There's 15. no math teachers in this Zoom. 0.6. <laughs> Alas. Well, so that means the blue team won. The red Congrats. team won. Oh, I'm sorry. Red team won. Sorry. Sorry. No, no you were right, Phil. It's the you blue see, I'm wearing blue. blue. I'm a secret blue team member. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right, the red team won. Congratulations to the red team. So post your score in the comments below, everybody, and let us know how you did. Did you beat the red team? Did you beat the blue team? Or do you need to study up on your FWAFA history? Well, regardless of what your score is, we're so happy that you joined us today. Miss Smith, did you want to go run and see if you can grab that poster? Let me grab. I'll be right back. All right, while she's off, is everybody doing all right this summer? Easy summer. <laughs> That's right, Dr. Pullman. You said you're working on a new uh, on a new children's book. Yes, it's my third Kevin and Jack book. That's exciting. And what what are, what are the, some of the new stories that will be uh, that Kevin and Jack will be going on this this time? Mm, it's kind of a mystery. They have to solve something, and it goes through different ways that they try to find the answer. So, that's great. That's exciting. Well, we're uh, we're we we can't wait. We you know let me let me just say so thankful for all of our seniors. I'm so glad that they were able to graduate. Hey, there it is. Oh wow! How to succeed in business without really trying. 2002 at the Rose Marine Theater. Friday and Saturday at seven p.m. Okay. And it was awesome. And it was long <laughs> because they didn't know how to do wardrobe changes. The, I think the first night, I mean, night lasted like five and a half hours. <laughs> oh gosh! Awesome. Well, we're 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 so thankful. Uh, we're so thankful that we we have an amazing building that we can perform in now, uh, right. and and we just can't wait. I mean, let me just say, I mean, can't wait to see all you in person, all of our students in person. We can't wait to to get everybody back there um when it's safe to do so and and we are so so thankful for for everybody and we miss you all and um anyway we hope that y'all uh like the trivia thank you all everybody here for participating um and uh we'll 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 see y'all soon everybody wave bye see ya thank you, Philip. bye, bye. bye.